Hi, my name is Cornelia Swart and I'm a sophomore at the University of Arkansas. I am a supply chain major and a marketing minor and I chose to take art history as my fine art credit because I love to study art and to learn about art and I also really enjoy art museums. The painting that I selected was Still Life in, with a Mirror by Roy Lichtenstein. It was painted in 1972 and it has been displayed in New York City, Richmond, Virginia, Paris, and London and it's now displayed here at the Crystal Bridges Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas. Let's go take a look. Roy Lichtenstein is one of the most influential artists from the 20th century and helped originate the pop art movement. He attended Ohio State University in 1940 to study education. After he returned to the U.S. after being drafted for World War II, he finished his degree and began teaching. During his teachings, he began painting. His most famous works are Wham!, Drowning Girl, and Look, Mickey. These works clearly depict the comic strips today. His work is easily recognizable by his style and influenced comic art. His work consisted of everyday world objects in a comic form in order to load them with symbolic meaning. Still Life with Mirror includes simple household objects, a fruit bowl, a cup, a tabletop, and a mirror. This is significant because he uses simple household objects to ponder the viewer to create a deeper meaning. Still Life with Mirror consists of several elements and principles. I believe this work has intrinsic value. Intrinsic value depends on the general assessment of an artist and the aesthetic character of the work. The work has intrinsic value because Roy Lichtenstein's work was collected and displayed as valuable because of his unique style. Lichtenstein creates depth in this painting through the use of shadows. These shadows are not typically shaded with lines but with dots. This is a unique to Lichtenstein's style. In addition to this, he uses one point perspective which relates back to the simplicity of his work. In this painting, Lichtenstein uses primary colors red, blue, and yellow as well as black and white in his paintings. Some of Lichtenstein's most famous work were representative of the methodology iconographic. Iconographic art implies that the written text underlines the work. In Lichtenstein's case, a lot of his work is represented of a comic strip or short comic-like work itself. Specifically, still life in mirror rep is representative of methodology semiology. Semiology is a science of signs that takes issues with the biographical methods and formalism. Lichtenstein uses meaningful patterns, bende dots, which convey semiology. His work belongs to the pop art category, which is influenced by abstract expressionism. Pop art began to rise in the late 1950s and 1960s with a focus on objectifying objects. Lichtenstein's work is a creative combination of pop art and abstract expressionism. I chose to study Still Life with Mirror by Roy Lichtenstein because I was recently at Crystal Bridges with my mom and my sister and I recognized the style of art and wanted to learn more about the painting. It stood out to me because of its large size and comic-like look. I liked how simple the work was, yet how it had so much meaning. The use of primary colors and simple objects is what make the painting so appealing to me. I really enjoyed researching it these past few weeks and thank you so much for this opportunity. Bye!